The most famous architect in America is Frank Lloyd Wright. He pioneered a very different style of architecture. Wright wanted Americans to reconnect with the natural world. The houses he built were often low with flat roof lines. He tried to get them to blend in with the land around them and often brought natural materials like stone and wood into the house, sometimes building the house directly over a stream, a large boulder, or partly underground. Wright's houses and those inspired by him feature long windows that give residents great views of the forest and natural setting around them. He also used glass and skylights to bring natural sunlight into the house in interesting ways. Trips to Japan inspired his work as well. In 1949, Wright designed and constructed the Parkwind neighborhood here in Kalamazoo. A group of young scientists employed by the Upjohn Company purchased a 47-acre piece of land in 1946 at the west end of Winchell Avenue, overlooking Lorenz Lake, now known as Asylum Lake, for $18,000. They convinced Wright to plan their neighborhood, and the homeowners pooled their resources so that they could buy materials in bulk, make, made their own concrete blocks, and did some of the work building their own homes. Wright's plan accommodated 40 lots of approximately one acre each, and reserved the last seven acres for common areas like gardens, tennis courts, and playgrounds. Behind me, through those trees, very low in the ground, is the Wynn residence. It was the last of four houses in the neighborhood designed by Wright himself, and the only one that's actually considered a two-story house, although it's hard to tell with how much of it's built underground. The plan for the Wynn house featured a porch enclosed by a screen and cantilevered over the hillside, which you cannot see behind me. Cantilevers means that the floor is actually hanging out in the air over the hillside without touching the ground. As you can see, this style is very different from traditional houses.